it seems like France always gets a raw deal in War Thunder. Compared to other nations, even minor ones, France doesn't receive a lot of new tanks. There's even been a few times where France helped develop a tank, but they don't receive it in a tech tree, at least not before a lot of public outcry. Not only that, but for the tanks they do have, they're held back by two main things, insane repair costs and being over-tiered. It's not like France lacks vehicles that could be added. They're one of the largest militaries in the world, so why are things like this? That's what we'll be exploring today, as well as vehicles that could be added to make France a bit more competitive. Obviously, the devs don't literally hate France. I just thought that sounded funny as a title. Like Kira went to Paris one day, had a bad hotel breakfast, and from that point forward, had a deep hatred for the entire country. Sadly, the actual reasons are much more mundane. As you can probably imagine, a lot of it comes down to France's position as a minor tech tree. The big three tech trees, the US, Germany, and Russia, are much more likely to receive vehicles. Based on what they receive most often, you can actually tell the major attractions for each one. For the United States, they receive a ton of aircraft, because their military doctrine has a focus on them. And in US popular culture, we love to hype up our aircraft. You ever see Top Gun? Whatever people are drawn to and play the most, that's what Gaijin will add the most. It's the same with Germany and Russia receiving so many tanks. These are the big money makers for Gaijin. So when adding new vehicles, they're the ones that get priority, instead of minor tech trees. It's the same reason why Germany gets vehicles that should, honestly, go to France more than anything else. When Gaijin added the SK-105, a vehicle made jointly by France and Austria, they put it in the German tech tree. Their excuse wasn't the greatest. They said that Austria is geographically close to Germany, so that's where the vehicle should go. Obviously, this didn't make a ton of sense, and people were not at all happy about it. So they basically hit Control and V, and put it in the French tech tree as well. The actual reason is simple. Germany has more players. Way more. That means more people potentially GEing it. So more money. Now they're doing the same thing yet again, but a bit less egregious this time. The DF-105 is a joint French and German vehicle, but it's only being added to Germany. At least that's the plan right now. People are calling for it to be added to the French tree as well, which I agree with. There are some people that have a few concerns, namely friendly fire and sim, and monotony in ground RB. Personally, I think if two nations collaborate on a tank, they both should get a version of it. It's the same deal with the KPZ-70 and MBT-70. Now you're probably thinking, wouldn't putting it in both trees make them even more money? Why don't they just do that? Well, in addition to the concerns I just mentioned, Gaijin honestly might not think it's worth the effort. Not a lot of people play France. It's one of the least played tech trees in the game. Not to mention, it's pretty well developed for a minor tech tree overall. It just has a few major holes in some areas. Another issue is French players. They universally perform pretty well. When it comes to minor tech trees, they usually have higher stats than majors, but France seems to be the most extreme example. It's why all of their tanks have insanely high repair costs. They see French players doing well and being efficient, so they smack them with economy nerfs. This doesn't solve the issue though. It makes it unaffordable for less skilled players, so they move on to less expensive vehicles. The skilled players keep playing, stats go back up, and the vehicle gets hit yet again. So Gaijin sees all this going on, a decent number of vehicles, very low player numbers, and very high player stats. And when they see this, they decide that France is doing fine, so they don't need a ton of new vehicles. As for the vehicles that France does need, there are two main areas, stabilized tanks and support vehicles. The new Leclerc is all well and good, but it won't change much at all. To fill the gap between the AMX-30 DCA and Roland, they could add this, the ERC Santal. It's an infrared SAM vehicle, like the Type 93 in Ocelot, so it'd be around 9.0 or so. As far as stabilized vehicles go, there are two options that come to mind, the Vextra 105 or AMX 10RC with the TML turret. There are other options for light tanks, but they're unstabilized. That would include the Mars 15 105, AMX 10RCR, and AMX 10P Pack 90. Options for support vehicles include the VAB Hot, AMX 10P Hot, VBCI 2, and possibly even the Jaguar. The VBCI 2 looks interesting. It's a wheeled IFV and has a 40mm cannon. It can also apparently be fitted with missiles, though only two kinds are specified, javelins or spikes. Neither of those sound balanced, but it depends on how Gaijin models them. If you guys have your own suggestions for French vehicles, leave them in a comment. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.